for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Leo, in the recent past, we have illumination. And on the flip side of illumination, it reads, believe in the power of grace. When we least expect it, a new door will open and the light of grace will illuminate our next step. That's illumination. And then we also have let your friends help you. And this card reads, ask for and accept support from others. So in the recent past, you probably were in some type of situation where you needed support and help from your friends, family, or probably your your um, your lover or the person you were dealing with. You needed some type of support. And um, you also, with illumination, you need to believe in the power of grace. That's what illumination is about. Because it, like I said, it's, it explains that when you least expect it, a new door would have opened. And the light of grace would have taken you to your next step. So that would have supported you through any rough times that you had. Uh, especially if the times were rough when you were having a need to ask for and accept support from others. With this card that says, let your friends help you. So, illumination and let your friends help you. That's your uh, recent past. So, let's move on down and take a look at the present time. So, we have Emperor and King of Wands. Now, the Emperor, it shows that domination of the mind over the heart is sometimes necessary. Even though it's probably not wanted. In fact, this should be welcomed, and that's what you must do when you get this card in a reading. So when her choices have to be made, it's going to be important in the month of March to maintain your concentration and focus. The emperor, it signals, it, he signals this, the emperor, but he can also signal that now is a time you got to find it easier to make hard choices because you're using your heart. Use, I'm sorry, you're using your head instead of your heart. So you want to make sure to enjoy the confidence and the self-control that this focus is going to bring you at that time, at this time in March. So forge your head, forge your head and do what you know is best. If you'll be if you can master yourself then you have little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life might throw at you in the month of March. Now this emperor when it talks about love and relationships you could find yourself falling for someone who's older than you. This person they could be a, a very organized type of person. They may appear really together. They're logical and they're attracted to organization. They may seem to have their stuff together. The attraction may not be mutual from the very beginning, but if you're patient and persistent, it will grow. Remember, fireworks at the beginning, they're all well and good, but if you ask yourself how long fireworks last for in a life, we all know that a slow burning connection is far likely to outlast fireworks. So this emperor is paired with the king of wands. Now the king of wands, it indicates a man. He could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Um, this person is coming towards you in March. Uh, they want to serve. They want to serve as a mentor for you. Uh, it's a very positive card in the, in the tarot, even when we're not talking about an actual person coming towards you or a person like this in your life, this signifies that men around you, they want to be supportive of you and they think really well of you. You probably, you prob probably be feeling really ambitious and goal-oriented in the month of March. And you're going to have the will to accomplish what you have in mind. 
So it's just important to stay positive. Now, when the King of Wands talks about love and relationships, um, it's an excellent card in the tarot. It signifies that someone you care about, they have very protective and caring feelings about you and that they're willing to work hard, if necessary, to make the relationship work. Now, you could be more than usually focused on your own work or career in the month of March. So, make time for romance even if you're single. Or you could end up with work being the only thing in your life. That is, if you're looking for a relationship. So for your present time, this Emperor and King of Wands um, is basically saying that with the Emperor you'll find it easier to make hard choices because you're not using your heart as much. Or you should try to be like this Emperor in the month of March. Um, the Emperor can tend to be a leader or a boss, probably a little bit arrogant. Um, they don't want to come off as vulnerable. So, um, this could be you in the month of March. And it's paired with this King of, King of Wands. Um, uh, some people, probably men, because we're talking about a king, they'll be um, very supportive of you in the month of March. I don't know if you have, if you're really close to your uncles or you're close to your father or uh, just a lot of men in your family, maybe. Um, they, the King of Wands, it's saying that they're going, they are or they will be very protective and they have very caring feelings about you. This could be your spouse or the person that you're dealing with, but, um, that's not a bad t time for the present time uh, for March. Um, easier to make hard choices. And then you have a lot of support. A lot of people that uh, um, think really well of you. And then this person, there's another person here with this King of Wands that has very caring feelings about you. So that sounds like a, a lover or your, your partner. So that's a present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at the person that you're dealing with, how they view you. They view you as the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Swords, it's about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. It could sometimes mean someone is prying into your life or you could be doing this to someone. If you sense someone is spying on you, you could be right. If you're tempted to dig, to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. When the Seven of Swords talks about relationships and love, if you're already in a committed relationship, it's a clear signal that trust is probably crucial. If you're suspicious for some reason about your partner, you're going to need to make it a point to talk about it, even if it's difficult. Because if you're passive aggressive, it's only going to make things worse. And if you're looking for love and there's some single Aries, I'm sorry, not Aries. Ooh, <laughs> it's, there's 12 signs in the zodiac, so it's easy to get, get them mixed up. I'm talking about Leos here. So if you are a single Leo listener and you're looking for love at this time you could meet someone very interesting in the month of March here's a tip try to avoid appearing as though you just you're just not interested in a relationship because prospective suitors they will move on to someone who's more engaging so try to strive for balance single Leos now, this is how your person is seeing you. They view you as possibly using tactics, strategy, manipulation in this connection. So they see you as possibly having some trust issues 
with this connection. They think that you might be stalking them or maybe checking their phone when they go to bed or something like that. I think you get the message. That's how they see you. And they also see you as this three of pentacles. Now, the three of pentacles, when it talks about relationships and love, it's very good. Particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in, this tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has the qualities that they've been looking for. Although love is probably not quite developed yet, there's going to be a need for patience. And if you are unattached and single and looking for love, this Three of Pentacles, it indicates that you are likely to meet someone through work or through theirs. Keep your eyes open at, in the month of March. And I say through work because Pentacles is about money. It's about, uh, it's about work to bring in financing. Finances, uh, funds, cash, coins. That's what the Pentacles are when you hear that word in in a tarot reading. So you could meet someone through work if you're unattached and looking or through their work. So keep your eyes open, single Leos. Now, once again, this is how your person is seeing you also as this Three of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords and Three of Pentacles. They think you're using strategy. You're probably manipulative. And with this Three of Pentacles, they see you pretty much in a positive light, even though you probably have some trust issues. They see you as wanting to collaborate. Um, they see you as wanting to be a pair, teamwork. So even though they think you're mistrusting and you're probably stalking them, they um, they still see you in a positive light with this Three of Pentacles. Because the Three of Pentacles is a po very positive card. Like I said, it's a good card in the tarot. So they see you as also appreciating the efforts that they put into this connection. So... Once again, that's how they see you. And let's move on down and take a look at how you view the person you're dealing with. You view them as the Hermit and the Ten of Wands. Now, the Hermit is a, can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Just like the Strength card, you could be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. You could be feeling that way in the month of March. Um, don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can get your head clear. This is also a card about trying to do the right thing, trying really hard, but just make sure that doing the right thing includes what's doing right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. When the Hermit card talks about love and relationships, it's possible that a romance from your past could be rekindled. You need to ask yourself, is that what you really want? It seems that romantic relationships, they're not a priority for you right now. If your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at, take a look at your behavior. Does it align? Does it align with that analysis? In a committed relationship, you might have been moving in different directions for a while when you get the Hermit card. Just make sure to make time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. So this is how you see the person you're dealing with. You view them as wanting some time alone. Probably they have some baggage. 
and you see them as needing to clear their mind. Uh, we might we might be feeling that you're not a priority at this time. You could see them as probably wanting to uh, withdraw for a while. If you can see the picture of this card, this man in the black looks like a black uh, cloak or whatever you call those things with the hoods. And then it has a shawl around the shoulders, some type of cape around the shoulders. But anyway, he's walking through like a, some type of, it looks like a garden path. Or it looks like the mountains, someplace spooky like that. It just looks really dark. And he's by himself and he has a light. There's one light in his hand. And he just, he's got the hood over his head. And he just looks like he doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, so this is how you could see your person. This is probably how you're seeing your person. Uh, probably just wanting some time to himself. And because this is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands is about a place, it's about a hard place in a relationship. It can be that your person, your lover, is undergoing a rough time that has nothing to do with their relationship, but need your support or it could have something to do with their relationship most often though it indicates that there is something in the relationship that needs to be examined looked at and considered just know you will not gain by pretending there are no problems if you're single and you're looking for love don't despair your time will eventually come but perhaps now is a good time to put a stop to your search and just take some time for rest and reflection when you get the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands and this Hermit card is how you see them. And like I said, the Ten of Wands, they could have some baggage. It could be about the relationship or the, about the connection and they just want to probably want to get away from it. And because it has the Ten of Wands, um, there's a burden, some type of burden in this connection. Or they're burdened with something. And that's why they want to go into hermit mode. Yeah, so they're having a rough time. And that's how you see them. It could be a rough time in the with this connection or a rough time with something else. But now they just want to escape and clear their head. So that's how you view the person you're dealing with. And let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to the Nine of Cups and the Lovers card. Now, this Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards. One of the most pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief, brief period of time. Now this card is showing a portent of happiness and good times to come. It can also usually mean that what you want is likely to be, well, what you want is likely to come into being in your life. If you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful, most powerful indicator of yes but like everything else in the tarot um, it's still a powerful yes because it's the nine of cups yeah it's the nine of cups it's just short of one cup short of one cup and ten cup ten of cups is the tops nine of cups is is second from the from the top second from the ten second from the tops so this is a definite yes. This is a yes. If you need to know. If you're asking a question, it's a yes. Now, when the Nine of Cups talks about love and relationships, this card is a very good card for your love life. If you're already in a relationship, it could deepen, become better, sweeter. If you're single, it's a great time to meet people, so get out, socialize, have conversations with strangers. 
their potential outcomes. The idea now is to have fun with this Nine of Cups. Because a lot of interesting things could happen. The Nine of Cups is why it's happening in this connection also. Because um, you or your person wished for this connection. You're a wish come true for your person or your person is a wish come true for them. It could go either way or it could be both of you that are very, um, you both feel very blessed and satisfied with this Nine of Cups. Blessed and satisfied in this connection. Now it's with the the lover's card. Wow, the lover's card is is huge. It's with the lover's card. Now let me tell you what the lover's card is about. Now this card it means that this is the time that love is brought to you in big capital bold letters to the center stage of your life. This is this could be a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. So I don't know if you're with someone from your past or someone from your past is returning. Because we talked about that earlier. Yeah, as the hermit. So someone from your past could be coming back or like I said, it seems like you could be dealing with someone from your past. Either way. You're going to be very happy about how romance is going and others will notice the glow that you have. The lover's card is serious stuff. It could mean even in a new relationship where you're meeting each other's family and talking about the word forever. Just don't forget, you might want to share your joy with those around you who need it. Life should be feeling really blissful to you at, at this time or in the month of March. Which is going to be a wonderful thing. So why it's all happening. Nine of Cups and Lovers. The both of you. Or maybe a little bit more. You or the other. You're feeling blessed. To have each other. And you're, you're overall satisfied. And then you got this Lovers card here. There's a lot of love. In this connection. If Maybe not all the time. But for the most part. It feels like a coming together, a union. It feels like the strength of two people. There's a partnership there and deep love. Yep. So there's a lot of love there and you both feel like this is a wish come true. That's not bad for why it's all happening. So Leo. So Leo. So Leo.